Hey guys, uh, welcome to Cadence Physical Therapy. And I uh, just want to first off introduce myself. Um, my name is Dr. David Thomas. I'm a physical therapist here at Cadence Physical Therapy. Um, I want to say thank you for deciding to go with us for your physical therapy needs. I know there's numerous clinics in the area that you could have chosen to go to, but um, you chose us. So um, I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about what to expect from physical therapy, what it is, and just a general idea of what the prognosis and the progress is going to look like typically for some of the issues we um, typically treat here. So um, we're going to talk about how therapy can help you recover from injury, and I'll walk you through a couple of different scenarios. Um, so I want you to focus on the area of your body that seems to be bothering you. Uh, if there's a painful area for the reason why you're coming in. I want you to think about that area. When you move that limb, whether it's lifting your shoulder up, if you're coming in for shoulder pain, if you lift your shoulder up and raise it above over your head, out to the side, does the pain seem to be worse or does it seem to be worse more so at rest or just about the same? Uh, typically, what we see is um, when there's movement with pain that seems to be worse than um, at rest pain, typically that means that there's some sort of muscular um, tenderness or myotendinous um, involvement. Um, in some rare cases, there can be some form of a fracture as well. Um, but many times more than not, there's some form of a muscle strain, um, some tendinitis, uh, tendon tearing, or um, sometimes issues with the ligaments that help us keep stable. So um, each rehab process and time length uh, is a little bit different for each. So um, you might have some imaging. Maybe you went, came from your doctor. Your doctor sent you over here to, for, to get physical therapy. and You had an x-ray done. And, you know, it shows that there's nothing really in there except maybe some inflammation or you have an MRI. And then you got this uh, diagnosis that says, oh, you, you've got some tendinitis, maybe some rotator cuff tear. So you're thinking, oh, God, what do I do here? Is physical therapy even going to help me? Should I just go back to the doctor and just do corticosteroid injections? Maybe I should just go on ahead and do the surgery. Um, so maybe there's a lot of uncertainty, which is very common um, for people coming to physical therapy or to a new clinic. Um, and what I've learned here and most of the staff members as well could agree on this is what is your frame set about physical therapy? Um, is it a positive one? Have you gotten better with physical therapy before or is it could it be a negative one? Could it be that a belief system? Um, physical therapy doesn't help. Um, it never helped me before. Or maybe it made my issues worse. Um, you know, I'm not a believer. So, you know, if there's a negative frame and mindset, there's usually some anxiety and doubts. Um, and typically we want to show you that there should be some positivity because physical therapy, when done the right way, um, like we try to do here at Cadence Therapy, patients tend to have really good outcomes. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about uh, the tissue healing chart I have here in front of me. Um, so let's pretend uh, you're coming in for a shoulder issue or back issue. So if you have a grade one strain, typically the rehab process to feel better it takes anywhere from anywhere from a few days up to two weeks. A grade two uh, can take anywhere from four days up to three months and a grade three um, can take anywhere from three weeks to six months. So um, what is the difference between the three grades, right? Because many people at some point in their life feel some form of a, uh, a muscle strain. Grade one, all that means is that's just going to be a partial um, partial tear less than 25%. Grade two is um, about half, approximately halfway thickness tears. And grade three is usually complete tear or what they call an avulsion where the muscle completely tears apart from other ends and tears apart at the um, myotendinous or muscle tendon junction. So most, many people we see come in with some form of a muscle strain. Now, ligament sprain, um, also very common. So think about your athlete who plays soccer, right? You have an ankle sprain. We have about how many times we hear about that? Very, very common to issue uh, injure ligaments in the ankle. So if we're looking over at the chart here, that can take zero to three days for a simple grade one. You know, it's a little bit achy, hard to walk on, but after a few days, you're starting to feel normal. With grade two, we're looking at about three weeks to six months. In this case, you'd probably notice that walking just doesn't seem the same. Your ankle seems stiff, you feel unstable, you have to change the way you walk or your gait is gonna be different. And then a grade three would be, like I mentioned before, kind of a full tear, it can take us five weeks to one year. So looking at these time lengths, it's kind of uh, actually incredible how long it can take. But what we do here is with physical therapy, we tend to expedite this process. So it doesn't always have to take as long as this. We do our best to try to get our patients obviously in that lower ranking. 
um, lower ranking uh, healing chart. So coming in for physical therapy, doing your home exercise program, if you're good about doing both of those, you show up to your sessions, come up for the, come to the recommended amount of times, you're great about your home exercise program, you ask the right questions, you're invested, you're intrinsically motivated, we can drastically expedite this process with all the interventions and services we offer here at Cadence. Um, another issue we're going to talk about is tendon issues, so tendonitis, um, which is just inflammation and overuse and aggravation to the tendon sheets, um, very common in for front of the shoulder. Um, very common at the bottom of the knee for soccer players. Um, uh, so tendonitis, all that is, is inflammation of the tendon at where it inserts or originates. So that can take anywhere from three to seven weeks to dissipate and resolve. Um, sometimes it can take longer than that. So tendinosis, all that is, is a chronic um, version of tendonitis where essentially thickening of that tendon happens. And Essentially, it's tendonitis progressively getting worse. That tendon, tendon thickens from all the aggravation and issues, and then now you're starting to turn into more of a chronic issue, and you can see it takes anywhere from three to six months to heal. So many patients go from tendonitis to tendinosis when they have a job. So if you have really bad shoulder pain, but your job involves you driving, your job involves you being on the computer 40 hours a week, um, much higher risk of likelihood for that, but injuries do occur, or, um, recoveries rather do occur for both tendonitis and tendinosis. We treat that very common here. Laceration would be a complete tear of the tendon. So you can see it takes as long as six months to rehab that conservatively without surgery. Um, so looking just at the time frame here, um, you can see that it varies a little bit different depending if it's a tendon issue, if it's a muscular issue and ligament issue. A um, lot of questions here. So um, we'll talk about how that rehab process looks like further when we see you and meet you in person. Um, but we want to make sure that you have a good understanding of what rehab is, um, about having the right mindsets of how long these can take. Um, it takes longer than just getting past that pain phase. I know a lot of um, patients' goal is, well, I just don't want to be in pain, right? <laughs> of course, nobody wants to be in pain. I don't want to be in pain. But in order for us to get past that, um, prevent it past the pain stage and into the preventative phase where we can strengthen you to make you strong so this issue never happens again, we like to make sure we take our patients as long as we need to, uh, medically justifiable, justifiably, of course, to make sure that we get them through that rehab process, trying to shorten that as much as we can. But we don't just treat, you're out of pain, you're gone, shake your hand, great, you're done in two weeks, goodbye. No. The reason why we believe, and I firmly believe that we do so well as a cl clinic is because we address your symptoms, the pain, the inflammation, we get you more, mo more mobility, flexibility, we strengthen you and stabilize you, and then we return you to those tasks that were previously painful, and then even beyond that, we progress you past that so that you have the foundation of a strong, stable, and mobile body, okay? Looking forward to talking to you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening, and have a great day. Bye-bye.